All right, again at the Sepulveda Garden, it's time to get some marigold seeds for next season. The reason that I planted all these marigolds, and there's different colors, orange, yellows, even a nice combination of uh, an orange inside with yellow tips. How fun is that? I planted a bunch of these because I found that the soil was uh, ruining the cantaloupes and the watermelons, and after a little research, uh, they said if you pull up your watermelon or your cantaloupe roots and they have like golf ball sized bulbous anomalies, then you've got nematodes, these microscopic little worms. And the best way to get rid of them is plant some marigolds. So the nematodes do not like the flowers, the smell of the marigold, or the roots. And it's a natural deterrent. So what I'm actually going to do with these plants though, uh, and the reason I'm filming is to show you the seed part. And the flowers have the seeds. So I'm saving a bunch of them. I'm categorizing them so I can organize the yellows and the oranges next year. And I've got a little pot here just to throw the flowers inside. And I'm separating the orange, the yellows, even these uh, sunburst ones with the orange in the center and the yellow on the outside. Now here's the nice thing. Can you hold that for me? Uh, let me show you here how easy it is to grab the seeds. And it's okay in this example. Um, I'm going to let these dry out, but uh, the seeds are this simple. Um, when you have, you can pull off the color part. Uh, this is not the seed. So I'm just going to let that fly to the wind. And uh, inside the shell, I'll just break this open so you can kind of see it. All these, all this little black goodness are the seeds. Now, the other thing is little moths come by and they love to plant plant some eggs in it. So I've got a couple little worms in there. There's one there. There's another one. So I don't want those in my seeds. But these are the seeds. Here's an example right here of one. I lay it on my thumb so you can see it. And there's a whole bundle inside each flower. So these are all the seeds. So these seeds are what I'm saving for next year. I don't know how many are going to be viable, so I'm going to uh, dry them and store them in, um, in my little seed saving. If you want to see how I save the seeds inside the matchboxes, I've got my little alchemy library style matchboxes where I keep all my seeds and organize them. That's another video, just to see it online. But uh, I'm organizing these by color. So these are going to go back in the orange bucket, and uh, I'm going to pick some more. Thanks.